Israel Adesanya first entered the octagon having already made a name as a two-division kickboxing champion. In MMA, he proved just as devastating. 11 fights, 11 finishes. Leading up to his UFC debut in February 2018, where he lived up to the hype, unleashing his vast arsenal, brutal kicks, and crisp combinations. Middleweights, I'm the new dog in the yard. Adesanya continued his undefeated streak as he outclassed every middleweight contender that was put in front of him, starting with Marvin Vittori. The rest of the strikers in this division, you're on notice. Styles make fights. I'm the style bender. I know how to adapt to each and every single one of them. You can't touch him. It's hard to find when to throw and what to commit to. Oh, Adesanya lands a flush right. Faking, he's switching stances, giving a bunch of different looks. I can fight going forward. I can fight going backwards. Take down attempt for Tavares. Oh, wow. wow. Look at Adesanya now. Nice defense there by the New Zealander. He has been the boss. He has been the bully. He has led the dance. And the last style bender is starting to go to work. Sideways, I'm ambidextrous, bystanceful, trademark. The unbeaten Adesanya burst onto the scene. Another combination. With three UFC wins in just five months. Israel, the last time. So, the promotion would match its surging prospect against top 10 knockout artist Derek Brunson. I'm in his face, I saw him. He can't even control his emotions. He's just coming in here trying to flex. Don't worry, November 3rd, I will deliver. Israel, you're skinny, bro. Hey, you better lift some weights, man. You're skinny as hell. I'm not worried about you. Bring that chin on the platter, and I'll clean it off as well. So here is the unflappable Israel Sanya fourth UFC appearance here tonight. I mean, he's just so effortless and fluid in the way he throws those shots. But this is, without a doubt, going to be the toughest guy he's ever faced. I mean, Derek Brunson has a real resume. Does the hype train continue tonight? Look at that, right bottom. Good early sign for Adesanya, able to stay upright. Right hand of Adesanya got Brunson's attention. He's got to be careful that Adesanya doesn't set him up for a knee as he tries to do that as well. They all underestimated me. Derek Brunson is so strong. They just kept on saying hype, hype, hype. And I am the hype train, and I ran him over. Oh, he stunned him. Oh, oh big left and a right. Now the uppercut in the knee. Can he survive? That's the last style bender, folks. They don't know. I started the game at level two. They're just loading, so I got in his head, and I got him to start to work and shoot. I keep saying, man, I don't throw in hope. I aim and fire down the barrel. The next step in Adesanya's rise would come against MMA royalty, as he was set to face former middleweight king Anderson Silva. And due to unforeseen circumstances, this highly anticipated matchup was moved to the main event of UFC 234. So it goes in the fight game. Our main event tonight was to be the UFC middleweight championship, but Whitaker and Gaslam are off the card, and that means Israel Adesanya and the spider Anderson Silva move up and will headline UFC 234 tonight. Taking Whitaker and Gastelum's place as headlining attraction was a fight fan's dream matchup between a legend and a new superstar who emerged seemingly out of nowhere. Few fighters have had as much hype coming into a UFC debut and a career as Israel Adesanya. He has lived up to that hype and then some as he draws the legend Anderson Silva. We have witnessed his greatness for the better part of two decades, and this is a guy whose credentials you truly run out of time to set up. But over my left shoulder right now is the number four ranked contender, Kelvin Gastelum, with a belt over his shoulder. He's going to watch the last style better show here. Fifth UFC appearance for Israel Adesanya as he attacked that lead leg of Anderson Silva. And he's getting Anderson to fight on the feint. And Adesanya touched Silva with the right hand. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt. Right hand now from Adesanya. And now an elbow and a knee for good measure. Oh, Silva is able to avoid that left kick. Just barely, says Adesanya. Get on the outside. Get on the outside. Outside. You hear the oohs and ahs every time Silva advances. Five minutes down. You usually see Spider Anderson Silva doing that to people, and now we're seeing Adesanya give him a taste of his own medicine with the showmanship. Big left hand lands for Adesanya. Oh, oh. big counter right hook. Oh, Silva with the guard completely lowered. 
And this is what Anderson needs to do. Make it ugly, get in the underhooks, get in the pocket. Albozin, Albozin, and get away. Adesanya forced to clinch for a second. Now a buckling leg kick from Israel. Well, a lot of fans got to be sitting home wishing this was maybe a five-rounder, but this is our third and final round. I have a feeling we're going to see Israel throw a lot more in this third round. Ooh, Ooh. that hurt. That hurt. Adesanya continues to work that lower half. Adesanya forced to retreat. Silva attempts the flying knee and unable to land. Mix up your shots! Mix up your shots! I mean, how cool is this watching Anderson Silva go strike for strike this man? And Adesanya oh. just looking amazing. What a striking match turned in by Israel Adesanya. A lot of people believe at some point Israel Adesanya will have that middleweight belt firmly around his waist. Of course, Kelvin Gastelum and the rest are going to have a whole lot to say about that. Hey, Rob, heal up quick. Kelvin, put that belt down. Seriously. <laughs> Although UFC 234 began with chaos, it ended with clarity and a championship booking materialized. Israel Adesanya is going to be fighting Calvin Gaslam for the UFC interim middleweight title. We had a deal then and we shook on it. After Anderson Silva, I get a bill on my next fight. I'm going to do that. We're going to train smart. All of our attentions are in Israel and we'll fight for a bell. One man becomes the UFC interim middleweight champion and sets up a date later in 2019 with the undisputed king of the 85ers, the Reaper Robert Whitaker. We haven't seen him face the kind of grappling and pressure and experience inside the octagon that Calvin Gaslam possesses. Gaslam feels that he's just a better fighter. And at 185, when Kelvin Gaslam lands, people go to sleep. Ooh. Hard kick to the body. Ooh. Boy, Gaslam is throwing some heat. And a sign you starting to get off a little bit more now. Beautiful. Big right hand by Adesanya, perfectly placed. Inside leg kick. You cannot make a mistake with a striker that's as sharp as Israel Adesanya. And right now, he's got Kelvin just guessing. Oh! Oh! Oh, Kelvin's in real trouble. Those right hands are landing so clean for Israel. Oh! oh. Wow. wow! What a fight! What a fight! Oh, he goes high. Look at that. Oh! Oh, wow! Oh! He hired him! He's in trouble. Now Adesanya throws some offense. Oh! Wow. That is the most hurt we've ever seen Israel Adesanya for sure in a fight. The most adversity he's ever felt. He's got to take the momentum back from Kelvin Gaslam. I look for iconic moments. Iconic moments I'll live forever. Woo! In that fifth round, I, I looked across the cage and I could see Kelvin. I looked at him, I was like, you're not going to beat me. Oh, nice front kick to the face by Israel. Nice handy work there from Adesanya. He can't miss with that right hand no more. Oh, oh, Kelvin's in real trouble. And now Stylebender's got his number. I washed him away in that fifth round. I left no doubt. Oh! oh. Adesanya oh, is showing championship hard right now. Oh! Knockdown for Adesanya! What a combination. Adesanya looking to try to set up a triangle. It's just crazy. Gaslam's out! Wow! Woo! What a fight! When you're chasing the championship, and it's round five, this is how you gotta fight. Kelvin's in trouble. Kelvin's gonna come back! Oh, man, what a performance oh, by Adesanya. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, he's risen to the occasion. Oh, Stand up! Stand up! Stand up! Oh, he hurt him. He stunned him. Take a stop. Final fight. Ten seconds. With interim gold around his waist, Adesanya had now set himself up for a title unification bout against reigning middleweight king Robert Whittaker. DC, I'm just not sure there is any point of comparison in all of professional sports than the intensity of a UFC championship fight, and especially when you add this stadium backdrop. When you're in there and you walk to the middle, you're like, man, this is a moment. This is what dreams are made of, you know? It's the best feeling in all of sports. No matter what anyone said, whether they believed me or they didn't believe me, I didn't care. I was going to get this done one way or another. 
He has taken this sport by storm. He moves every needle, celebrity and otherwise, that you would want him to move. He is 17-0, but tonight he figures to be facing his stiffest challenge to date considerably as Israel Adesanya takes on Robert Whittaker. This is a guy that has fought five rounds against some of the more scary guys that we've ever seen in the octagon. His fights with Yoel Romero are things of legend, and this guy is a great champion and one of the best fighters that I've ever seen in the octagon. And he has been perfect at 185 pounds, 8 and 0. Whitaker has to make this fight a little bit dirty. If it's just a straight kickboxing match, there aren't many people in the world that can beat Israel at that. Stay on the good side. Stay on the good side. He's landing in just like we wanted. Watching how calm Adesanya is when Whitaker's throwing everything with so much heat is crazy. Adesanya lands the jab. This is what Adesanya has to do. He has to fight behind that jab. He can't allow Whitaker to get close. Shot by Izzy right before the bell. Be cautious. He's got a whole minute. A whole minute. Don't want to rush this. I'll jump. Get back dangerous. No rush. Be very shy. Okay. Don't stay in that range, that same range. In and out. Use your feet. But be proactive. Remember, you've got to be proactive. Keep on moving. Don't stay in. Second round underway now. We'll see the extent to which Robert Whitaker is compromised after a big moment for the last style bender to close round one. He's got Rob chasing him, and he's just sliding out of range. How about the dexterity, the head movement for Israel Adesanya? Wow, beautiful to watch. Oh, he's starting to feel himself now. He's starting to get into his flow. Then it's not good for Robert Whitaker. Oh, beautiful body work now from Adesanya. Oh! Whitaker nearly out on his feet. Adesanya trying to close it out. It's over. Israel it's Adesanya over. is the undisputed king of the middleweights. Man. Less than two years into his UFC career, Israel Adesanya is what he knew and thought he was, the best middleweight on planet Earth. I did what Romero couldn't do in 10 rounds. I did it in two. And I would say a star is born, but this star was born a long time ago, Israel Adesanya who has captivated the MMA masses every step of the way. Now the standard at 185 pounds.